Hey guys, Looks Cheeks here, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to uh, run the Dolphin emulator on a MacBook. Woohoo! Uh, it's been requested by people throughout uh, time that they want a tutorial on how to do this because it's freaking dumb as heck to, to play games on their MacBook. But, so what you're going to first do is you're going to go to the Dolphin emulator thing on my bobbery, and then you're going to click. You're not gonna click this because it'll just do some weird stuff. You go up here and click downloads, down not downloads, download, and then you're gonna um, get the development version, and you're gonna click Mac OS because we're doing this is our MacBook of course, so you're gonna click Mac OS, and that's gonna download. It'll take about not that long to download, but I'm gonna cancel it because I already have it downloaded. So. Now we're going to go back to the desktop, the desktop, and then we're going to go to our window capture. Yes, okay. So, normally, normally, and it, guys, this is illegal if you don't own the games. So make sure you own your games. I own my games. Okay, but um, when normally if you open the file, it'll give you like an error saying that it was downloaded from an unknown source so what you're gonna do you're gonna name it I'm gonna call I'm gonna call this one dolphin number two and then press that so it'll be like that and then you're gonna like double click or whatever and you're gonna click show package contents make sure you do that then you're gonna um after that you're going to click copy contents it's not showing but it's it's there because um, this thing, OBS doesn't screen share. I should have recorded this on my other thing, but it wouldn't have looked as good. But you're, then you're going to go to the second thing and you're going to click paste item. And it should take like 20 seconds, minimal. I mean, max, max, not minimal. Um, and then what you're going to do after that, you're going to rename it to whatever you want and then put dot app at the end. So it'll, it'll give you, are you sure you want to add the extension dot app to the end of the name? And you click add. And then it will become another dolphin. So then you're going to double click on that dolphin, which we're going to go to the next screen. What you guys see is I already have games here. And what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, there's only two options you need to go into. And we're going to start with the configuring, configuring the we're gonna go to the dolphin configuration option, which is not showing on here because I didn't press this button. Okay, so uh, here on the dolphin configuration, you're gonna copy everything you see here exactly, except for one part. Because since this is the video, um, I need to. Sh uh, it won't work because OBS. But what you're gonna do is you see I'm on the whole screen, and you're gonna make sure you make sure you able enable dual core speed up. Don't enable cheats. Uh, keep it at speed limit 100. I'm gonna tell you a compare. I'm gonna sh tell you. I'm gonna show you a comparison between this and then unlimited. We're gonna first start with the normal speed, so you can see the uh, uh, the differences, and then you're gonna click GIT rec compiler, the recommended version, not. Not, not these two, the recommended one. Um, then you're gonna go to interface, and on interface, you're just gonna you're just gonna click use pen and candles, show on screen messages, ignore everything else. I mean, if you want your thing to look different, like I'm, I'm gonna choose clean blue because I blue is my favorite color. And then you're gonna go to audio, and then make sure you have it on fast, because if you don't have it on fast, your game's gonna slow down because of your audio. And I normally don't even play games where I would be using it. So, you can have it in max or minimal. Max, minimal. It doesn't really matter. Um, and you can have no audio or audio. So, it, it's your opinion. Uh, it's, it's whatever you want. And then you're going to go to the GameCube. You're going to click skip main menu. And it should already be set like that. But you never know. Um, we leave that on. In pass, you have to make a path so you can be able to play your games. Um, and then we go to the advanced and keep it around the 30s. You see how it says 100%? Keep it in the 30s because if you don't, if because if it's down here 100, the max it will ever go is 100. So 
have it around the 30s because if you have anything over the 30s it'll, it'll overheat really fast and then you won't be be able to play because your game's gonna go really fast but it won't matter so we're just gonna close that and then um they see my thing blue now uh, I open I just opened the graphics tab which because I'm super ghetto I have to press a totally different button and on the let me let me try this like there we go yeah ghetto ness look at look at that ghetto ness um, we're gonna go to the general options uh, as you see we have the OpenGL back end make sure it's on OpenGL and aspect ratio auto uh, for this tool we're not gonna have it on full screen uh, uh, always hide mouse cur uh, cursor. Wait, no, use full screen. We'll, we'll put it at, um, actually, no, this, I'll just move on, just like that. <coughs> the, the, for the other option, you can click these. Um, show P FPS, I'm gonna have that on for the sake of the tutorial. Um, always hide mouse cursor. I don't, uh, when you play in a game, your mouse cursor won't be there. So over here we got native. Make sure you have it on the native setting for 640 times 528 because this is the fastest, not the coolest. If you want to have a nice looking game that barely runs, click 5K. And actually, that's another thing. I'm going to show the comparison of 5K first because that's a lot. Uh, everything can be exactly like this. Make sure you have this on. If you don't, then your game won't be good. And keep this off. Just keep it off. I so like you want it off. For the cheats, enable basically everything except for GPU text decoding and, and immediately um, present XFP um, vertex rounding. Don't have those three tabs and make sure this is not on safe. It's on fast because you want the fastest gameplay. And on here, just just don't do that. So I'm gonna load the more graphical game, which is Pokemon XD. Scale of darkness and it's loaded, but let me let me go on so you guys can get that comparison. Where is the XD game? Is it here? Nope, that's not it. Yeah, so right now it's hit minimal frames per second because I have it on super. I can't, I'm literally pressing the A button, it's not working. Like, just don't use this option. It's going to look super hot, but don't use it. This is, this is legit how slow your game will run if you do that. So we're just going to leave that. Okay. Um, we're going to configure options again. Go to interface. Wait, not interface. Um, where, where did it go? Um, we're going to have it at, at native 640 times 528 like what it should be and uh, now you get, you're gonna get the comparison if you want your game to barely run go ahead and use that or you have the, the um, this is from macbook so this is the regular change look at the uh, uh, this is the fps improvement it's not it's, it's not the, the best um because i'm recording i think it's also affecting the way it's recording because you get you will get 60 frames per second while playing See, it sounds like crap. Crap with capital P. And when you play, you most of the time, actually not most of the time, all of the time, you want to have your gameplay in um, full screen. So, because that means all of its processing will go to the full screen part of the game. And now we're going to put speed limit unlimited back in the Dolphin configuration tab so you get a comparison of that. And then we'll go back here again and then click this. Where is it at? Pop up. Swear, I swear, OBS is it's a good program. It's just so inconvenient. It see, look, it had speed improvements. Um, but but it will, uh, in fact, I think I put it in full screen. Let me put it in full screen. Exactly, because since I'm recording, it's not running that efficiently. Oh, oof. And when you exit full screen, the top will close. So let me go into a less graphical game like Pokemon Coliseum and see how that runs. It should run a lot better.
Ooh, why did he do that? Okay, damn. Okay. Nintendo. Okay, so, as you guys can see, and this is only because I'm recording, if you're doing this right now, your, your frames per second should be around 60. Um, I would, I would have a recording, but, um, oh, duh, since I'm on here, let's go to Instagram, Instagram. Exactly, no one wants to see that cringe. Let's go to tutorial, the tutorial page. Why is it? Okay, that's something everyone likes seeing. Anyways, as you see, the game's running at the, the best FPS it can run it. And it's the, I'm in the background of that. But this is what type of FPS you should be getting while playing your games. Yeah, so it will be running above and beyond 60 frames per second if you did everything right. It was awkward because I had to use a phone. But this is, a, this, this is what you should be expecting when you're playing a your game. There will be lag spikes at some points, but it's not. It's like for a good second. Other than that, you should be good. So, with that being said, you can look at Adrian again. But, but with that being said, um, let's just let's just um say thank you guys for watching this video and leave a like. And I'm sorry I can't show it. I need, if, like I have a Windows computer too, but I'm just using this computer because it's portable, and everyone likes portable goodness. My next tutorial will be on how to run Citra, and after that I'll also um do an op o Oppo an open emu video. So thank you guys for watching, leave a like, and subscribe for more.